Hey guys, Jaffo here. We've got another unboxing, reveal, whatever you want to call it today. Today we're looking at the Warhammer 40,000 Death Guard dice. Uh, these are supporting the new Death Guard armies that are coming out uh, tomorrow or today, if you, depending on when I get this video up. Let's take a look at these things. If you can hear that, those do not sound like regular dice. And they are a much softer plastic shell. Um, and if you can see, they all have little pustules to represent the Nurgle's decay and such. They do uh, show off all of the symbols. Of one, two, three, four, five, and six. And uh, see if I can kind of get a pen here without breaking them. You can kind of see... They're like an inflated bag, almost. Uh, a little uh, bag. I, I don't know how to describe it. It's just a little bag to uh, that, that showing the blister. Um, have te We have done some tests with these. Uh, I was speaking with uh, Steve earlier about them. I mean, you see, they do roll. So they do, I mean, they do what they're supposed to. And he has seen uh, ways to test how to... Uh, Make sure that your die isn't a cheater die, as it were. And if you put it in a cup of water, if it's a weighted die, it should always, uh, you know, orientate itself so that it'll uh, come up to the die or to the number it's supposed to. I do like looking at this uh, uh, container here that it's kind of rusted and decayed and yellowed like it's diseased and like I actually just opened up you know, some of Nurgle's rot and let it off into the store here. Um, of course, that is not the case. We just uh, open up a nice dice container. All right, we've got another piece for you today. We've got the Death Guard data cards. Uh, what's going to be contained in here is going to be all of the stratagems, all of the objective cards for playing the Maelstrom of War missions, as well as any of the psychic powers that you're going to need or easy use to... Uh, play with for your Death Guard army. So I want to take a look at these first. Uh, there we go. The first 36-ish uh, cards are going to be all of your tactical objective cards. They're going to help you play. And just save time. you got a nice little card. You just flip this card up. It tells you we need to do a death march, scoring a victory point. If you can get three friendly Death Guard infantry units are within your opponent's half of the battlefield. Uh, score a victory point for that. Um, these are all contained within inside of your codex, and more importantly, these first six cards are, as you see here. These are all Nurgle-specific cards, um, like this one here. Death begets life. Whilst this objective is active, keep a tally of the number of enemy models you kill in each of your turns. Score a victory point if you killed at least seven. One additional for every seven models in excess of this, up to a max of seven victory points. So if uh, Nurgle can start getting Nurgle's number, which his lucky number, lucky number is seven, you can start getting uh, lots of victory points very quickly. One good round of shooting. Uh, the next set of cards that we're going to have here you're going to see is our stratagem cards. These are going to be little things you can spend a number of command points listed on the bottom. Anywhere from usually one to three command points is what we're seeing here, or what the uh, average has been so far. And like here, for one command, po command point, you can reroll any single die. Um, whereas for three command points, uh, it can be used once per battle. In the shooting phase, select a Death Guard character, roll a d6 for every unit within 7 inches of them. On a 4+, plus, that unit suffers d3 mortal wounds. Nurgle models cannot suffer wounds from Nurgle's Rock. In fact, they find it rather refreshing. So all sorts of cool little abilities that you can kind of throw on your opponent. Last bit, you know, if you guys are Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic players, those are those last bit uh, tricks to try and get out before... Uh, your opponent thinks he's won. So here's Blight Bombardment. It's going to cost you a command point. Use this stratagem before, uh, just before a friendly Death Guard unit shoots or fires Overwatch. When resolving that unit shots, every model in the unit is equipped with a Blight Grenade. You can throw one inst instead of only one model in the entire unit. Now normally, for those of you guys who are 40k fans, a unit that contains grenades in it can throw one, one grenade per each f uh, for that unit. That card 
That card I just showed you actually allows you to throw one per model. Uh, units can anywhere be anywhere between uh, one and, or five and twenty. So you can have up to twenty guys throwing grenades. On average, you're going to see about ten ten man units. So that's pretty insane. And then the last set of cards you're going to get is cards of the Contagion Discipline. Contagion being the uh, Nurgle friendly discipline, as it were. So you've got your basic uh, psychic power, gives you smite, tells you how it's going to work. Everybody who plays 40k, you should know how uh, smite works for your psychers. What you're looking for, though, is uh, these ones right here. The Miasma, Pestilence, Gift of Contagion, Plague Wind, uh, Blades of Putrefaction, Putrescent, putrescent vi Vitality, and Curse of the Leper. So... They tell you the number on the bottom here. That tells you how difficult it is to cast. Roll two dice, trying to get that number or higher. Usually if you can get higher than that, good for you, because you did something did something crazier. So here's Curse of the Leper. Curse of the Leper has a warp charge value of seven, needing again two dice, rolls uh, rolling a seven or better. If manifested, you'll roll seven dice. See, there's that seven again. The closest visible enemy unit within 14 inches of the Psyker suffers a mortal wound for each roll that exceeds its toughness characteristic. It's a pretty nasty card, actually. Um, I've got a feeling, we haven't even gone through all the books and stuff yet, but i got a feeling the Death Guard is going to be an army you don't want to mess around with. So, alright, so that's the dice and the uh, data cards. Check out the other videos if you want to see what uh, the codex looks like, some early glimpses of that codex, as well as uh, the big guy himself, Motarian.